Hello, good evening. How are you? So it's already eight and we are going to get a started at the moment. So yesterday we were just uh, having some recap on the plural nouns because we are going to start studying quantifiers. So let's uh, go ahead and start on it, right? I'm going to share my screen in a couple of seconds. Bear with me. And as well, my camera too. All right. So let's see. There we go. We stopped it here yesterday, right? Am I correct? We stopped here yesterday, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, all right. So uh, after a couple of seconds ago, right, I sent it to you the document that we were studying regarding to the plural nouns. Um, do apologize. I didn't have the some time uh, today in the afternoon. I've been a little bit busy, but let's uh, get started on it. So just today, since we were studying uh, just the plurals, like a recap on the plurals, because right now we are going to study the expression of quantity or the quantifiers in this case, uh, we are going to study it with the count nouns and non-count nouns or the counts that we, or the nouns that we are not able to count them. The expressions of quantity in this case are these ones, the ones that we have on bold, like uh, that they say uh, too many, fewer, more, enough. Um, as well, we have too much, less, more, and enough once again. As you might notice, more and enough can be used either with count nouns or non-count nouns. So it depends on what exactly do you want to use, right? Or do you want to say or which noun you are going to be using? Here, as you might able to see, we are going to use the determiner there, there is or there are in this case, or we need, right? Depending on what do you want to express on. So I would like to you know if you have any question regarding to the, the words that are in bold before that we can go on the composition of the sentences. Is there any question regarding to that one? Teacher, yes, tell me. what is the meaning of fewer? Fewer in Spanish can be menos o pocos. I will recommend you to identify that as a pocos, right? Fewer and less como menos, right? So um, it will depend on you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Eh, fewer, si ustedes lo buscan en cualquier um, diccionario o translator, in this case, you will be able to find that it will say pocos o menos, o menor, también lo dice de esa manera, pero les también tiene el mismo significado. Entonces, um, yo les recomendaría que fewer lo identifiquen como poco y les, pues que lo puedan identificar como menos. ¿verdad? Así se los recomendaría yo. En realidad, uh, la palabra fewer, en este caso, ¿verdad? Es, eh, viene de la palabra few, que es uh, sin la ER, ¿verdad? Sin la ER. Entonces, también lo van a encontrar de esa manera. Es posible que encuentren few y fewer también, pero es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Is there any other question regarding to the expressions that are in, in bold, right? in this uh, specific image or in the slide? Uh, teacher, uh, yes, to, ma, uh, to may y to much es lo, lo mismo demasiado. Sí, sería mucho o demasiado en este caso, ¿verdad? Mucho o demasiado. 
eh, aquí lo único que varía en la significación, en la significación no varían con su significado. La única varianza que ellos tienen es en con cuál se utiliza. Much es con non counts y many con counts, pero allí podría ser mucho de esto o demasiado de esto, ¿verdad? Una cantidad bastante grande, ¿verdad? Podrían utilizarlo como, en este caso, um, el many. Eh, se podría utilizar como numerosos. Podría decir usted numerosos. Podría decir usted muchísimo, ¿verdad? O mucho. Y en el caso de much, eh, también de igual manera, eh, tendría, tendría ser demasiado. O en este caso, tantos o muchos, ¿verdad? Tanta cantidad de. Entonces, eh, al español de nosotros, many and much podría ser lo mismo, demasiado. Pero en el caso de many, usted podría decir muchísimos. Y en el caso de much, podría decir demasiados. Si usted quisiera darle como una diferenciación en significado, ¿verdad? Al, en dado caso, usted quisiera diferenciarlo de alguna manera. Okay. Yes. Ahí va a depender de ustedes. Any other question? Is there any other question? No. No questions. No questions. Okay, so as you may be able to see in here, right, regarding to the sentences, in the sentences, uh, we are going to have the expression of quantity right after the verb, right? Right after the verb immediately. So, uh, for example, if we want to say that in just like a kind of... Um, like a kind of a sentence, right, or a formula, we can say that we are going to have um, subject, let's say it like that, then we are going to have a verb in this case, and then we are going to have the expression of quantity, plus a complement, right? In this case, uh, the complement can be a count, or a non-count noun, right? So it will depend on you, right? Which are you gonna have as a complement? Regarding to the complement or according to the complement that you have is gonna be your expression of quantity, the one that you are going to have. Um, let me place it here in green. Are you able to see it well or the green color is kind of flashy? It's kind of flashy, huh? Se ve un poquito extraño el color. Este se ve casi negro. I'm sorry. I wish uh, to have better colors here, right? Uh, there we go, this one, the blue one. So um, if you want to have like a kind of formula, right? Just in case that you feel comfortable having formulas, you can apply this one, right? You might have a subject, a uh, verb plus the expression of quantity plus the complement that your complement can be a count or a non-count noun depending on what you are going to have so in that case is going to be your expression of quantity right regarding to that like for example right uh there it says there are two many cars, right? There are too many cars. And here we have el there, pues que hay demasiados carros, too many, the expression of quantity. R, that is gonna be our bird, and the complement cars, right? Cars, as you might be able to see, it is a count noun, right? So that one it will be regarding with the, if you want to have like a kind of composition of the sentences, right? The composition of the sentences. Is there any question so far 
or something that might not be clear regarding to it? You tell me. Oh, we are fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Thank you, Blanca. Anyone else? You're fine? You're good? Yes? All right. So if there is not any question, uh, let's go to here, right? So for example, this one in the very first one, which one do you think that we can use? Can we use too many, fewer, too much? No. And let's one, there are too many police officers. Okay. Thank you. There are too many police officers, right? So what about the second one? It says should be, there should be cars in the city. Which one do you think it will be the correct one? Fewer. There should Sorry? be fewer. Fewer, okay. Fewer, fewer, okay. There are fewer. In the third one, right? What about the third one? Just give me one second. Can you hear the noise or you are okay? Escuchan ustedes ese ruido o está bien? Quizá, just a, a little, little bit. bit. A, little a little bit, bit but it's, uh, it's, it's not disturbing, right? No, it's okay. It's okay, no all right. All right, so it says, right? There is public transportation. Which one can we use? Which one do you think that we can use? To Which one do you think that we can use? We can use uh, more, we can use, is it enough, less, too much? Too Which much. one do you think? Too much. Too much, okay. Too much. Too much. Too much, all right? Not a problem. Too much public transportation. Public what about the number four? The number four, it says the government needs to build and it says highways. More. More. Their government needs to build more highways. More highways, okay, thank you. What about the number five? There should be. There should be fewer. Fewer, okay. Fewer. fewer, do you think no. that fewer? It would be the correct less. one? Less. All right. Less. It has to be less, right? Let's remember that fewer is for things that you can count, right? It's for things that you can count. However, less are for things that you are not able to count. Noise, unfortunately, um, we are not able to count the noise, right? So let's see, what about the number six? It says, the city needs public parking garage. Too many. The city needs, someone says too many. Is there any other one? That you might think it might fit here? Any other one that you think might need fear? Or maybe more? Oh, yes. Yes, more, exactly. The city needs more public parking garage, right? Too many, it's uh, like, for example, when there is um, a lot of, of the same thing, right? But here it says that we have a need of, right? So the best one or the best choice, it should be more. But good job, thank you. What about the number seven? There is air pollution in the city. Too much. There is too much. Too much, okay. Too much. I too much. In the city. In the city, yes. The what city. about the number eight? There are cars parked on the street. Mm -hmm. And out. And out. There aren't enough, or in this case, 
there are too much, are too, many. Many. too many, too many, right? Too many, too many cars parked That's on the street. Park. Yes, this one, right? So is there any question regarding it to this ones, the quantifiers? Do you have any question, any doubt? Something that probably might be not clear enough? This, this is examples when you count, right? Yes. In okay. the one that it would be the number eight, uh, well, we have cars, right? The cars, okay. you can count them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Someone else, any other question? Is there any question? No, we are fine. It's okay. It's okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So thank you for answering. So let's see, uh, we are gonna be talking a little bit and I would like you that you can use, right? What you win a study that is going to be the simple past tense plus uh, they used to and as well what we have just studied that is gonna be the expressions of quantity. So there are several topics here. There are eight topics to be honest and we can give it the relation between the city that you live and some other things, right? Oh, according to the country that we are living on. So what are you gonna do? You are gonna choose at least two topics to talk to, right? Uh, there is some that just have, we have too many, and you can say we have too many, what? highways, right? Uh, we used to don't have it in the past or so on. So you can choose either for the ones that you have there, the expressions, and you can give the topic to them, right? So there aren't enough schools, for example, or we need more, um, what we need more hospitals, we need and so on. So regarding to our city, to our country, you can choose at least two of them and discuss them and create sentences, right? The main purpose is that you can use used to, the ones that we were in the study on, and as well the simple past, that you can combine it and that you can create some sentences when you are talking regarding to the expressions of quantity. I'm gonna give you five five minutes, I'm sorry, 10 minutes to discuss with a partner and I'm going to be with you in some of the groups. So is there any you question know. regarding to this or what are you gonna do? Is there any question or no? It's everything fine? Okay, so I'm gonna do the same, right? That I'm maybe sending to you the the picture on the WhatsApp group, so you can have it with you as well. He say no, that probably you might not have the presentation with you, so I'm gonna send the picture for you. So ready to go on the breakup rooms? Listos para ir como una pareja o como un trío en dado caso. Yes. Ready? Ready. Ready. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to create the groups. I think uh, that you are nine only at the moment, right? Let's see. Because with me, I think that you are just the 10. Okay. Yes. So let me go ahead and do the. Okay, let's see, where is it? There are, okay. So I'm gonna create four for you. Okay, there we go. So they are open, you might go to the rooms. All right.
No lo asigné a ningún grupo, Miguel, o sí. Eh, me salí, creo yo, porque cuando le di clic de repente estaba afuera. Estaba afuera, volví a entrar. ¿Qué? Es que lo tengo conectado. ¿Está conectado desde dos aparatos o solo desde uno? No, solo desde mi celular. Solo desde su Voy celular. Mire sí. que me aparecen dos acá. Pero ya lo asigné, pero si quiere, eh, vuelva. Vuelva la, al, al, al Backup Room si le aparece la invitación. Porque me aparece como si... Bueno, estuviera dos veces. Pero qué extraña esa situación. Sí, porque de mi celular estoy. Ahorita le voy a entrar. Bye. Está bien, sí, ahí entre, no hay problema. Creo que ha de ser algo de Zoom. Okay. Okay, bien. ¿Me puede escuchar, Alfredo? ¿Sí me escucha? Oh, hoy sí, teacher, hoy sí. Oh, sí, sí, es que ahí vi que me mandó un mensajito y por eso le decía, este, no se preocupe, trate de volver a entrar, ¿verdad? Sí, sí logra. Lo Va. voy a asignar al grupo número dos. Vaya, sí, vaya. Si le Va. llega la invitación Va. para que pueda entrar, sí. Gracias, gracias, teacher, gracias. Bueno, ya sabe. Ahí estamos. Puede hacer basurero o bancas en el parque. Uh -huh. te, voy a, te voy a reenviar, este, voy a reenviar ahí, ahí en la, porque ya está, ya está ahí en la, inclusive ya lo mandaron en el WhatsApp. Sé sí, que yo el WhatsApp me, me uní hace poco. Ah, ya. ya, ya. Entonces, no me aparece la estación. Espérame. Aquí, aquí, ahí voy a, lo voy a reenviar otra vez para que. Vaya, lo, ya lo volví a enviar. Ahí está toda la presentación. Va, ok. Entonces, aquí, el complemento de esto. Del primero, va. No me ha llegado. Ay, pero así ya lo mandé aquí, cayó. No sé qué WhatsApp tenés ahí, porque tiene que ser. Y el anterior te cayó. Recibí el de Plural Nouns, que mandó en, en Word, no ahí te llegó a tu vez. Ah, pues todavía no te ha llegado, ya te vaya a quedar por pesado con las presentaciones. Ah, okay. Pero ya te va a llegar. Claro. Vale. Entonces, va aquí, va tú a decir. Sí, está la teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, mándeme. Hello, teacher. Hello. Is there any difficulty? Está muy difícil el ejercicio. ¿O no se entendió lo que íbamos a hacer? No, la, no como no, teacher, eh, preguntar oraciones de, Dígame. De, de, nuestro, de nuestro entorno, ¿verdad? usando estas que estaban acá. Sí, va. sí, así correctamente. Este, y lo que tienen ustedes solo es como el comienzo, ¿verdad? De la, de la oración, de decir, um, for example, I think, right, or in my opinion, I think that we need um, less, what, less cars and more public transportation, for example. Um, mm -hmm. And then you can say, when I was a kid, I remember that we had more public transportation than cars. Podrían utilizarlo así. Lo importante sí, es que puedan utilizar el pasado y todo, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. 
Okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Este, Reggie, entonces hacemos con las oraciones que las que están en la primera, con la primera, ¿verdad? The city should the providence. The city should. Sí. Um, para. Eh, comparte. Comparte usted o comparto yo. Eh, si gusta, dame el favor de compartir, Reggie, porque yo nunca he compartido. <risa> Ni he bajado. Yo, yo lo que hice fue imprimir la presentación. Mm, yo también la tengo impresa. Me es más fácil, más que. En, Exacto. Yo estoy a la antigua. <risa> Ahí está. La ve. Ok, yes. The city show, the city show, the providence. Provide. Provide. Sería provide. Como yes. probablemente, ¿o qué sería, teacher? No, proveer, dar. Ah. Ajá, dar más, por ejemplo, ustedes dar pueden más, decir, proveer. dar más, ¿qué? ¿Qué creen ustedes que la... Bueno, por decirlo así, de City Hall, ¿verdad? El alcalde, por decirlo así, el alcalde que, ne que necesitaría proveer más, proveer más en su ciudad. Um, for example, people to pick it up the garbage, por ejemplo, personas que puedan recoger eh, la basura, ¿verdad? O the personal from the garbage truck que puedan pasar todos los días, etcétera, cosas así, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué piensan ustedes que ellos podrían, que podrían darles, que tendrían que dar más? Crear ¿verdad? ordenanzas, poder, ¿cómo podríamos eh, responder? ¿Cómo decir, crear ordenanzas. Oh, the city should provide more janitors in the streets, por ejemplo. Janitor es el ordenanza, ¿verdad? En este caso es la persona de limpieza. Ah, janitor. Los janitors. Yes. Ajá. Los no, pero janitors. como le, como, no, pero ordenanza, bien, no ordenanza de, 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 de persona que hace la limpieza, sino que como políticas. Hay ordenanza ah. para las, ¿sí? Oh, so you mean like laws, como, como leyes? Ajá. Yes. Okay, okay. You can say laws. Um, the city should provide more laws. No. Laws. In this case, sería L A W S. Sería L A W S. Este sería laws. Laws. Um, more laws. Yes. To keep the order. To keep the order. Para mantener el orden. ¿verdad? Más leyes para mantener el orden. Yeah. Okay. Um, in my case, uh, in my case, is the city should the provide mm -hmm. more the the cars or oh, tren de aseo, teacher. Ah, entonces ese sería el garbage truck, el garbage um, garbage truck, garbage, garbage truck. truck. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, exactly. Yes. All right. So yes, basically is that what you need to, to go ahead and discuss, right? So continue doing it. I'll give you more minutes because I need to check it out on the other groups. Okay, thank you, Tish. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, oh, no. we don't have enough um, We don't have, we don't have enough time in the class. Time. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Do you think time that is not teacher. enough? One, <laughs> one hour is not enough for you. <laughs> we, we need, we need one hour more. We don't have. Would no. you want to have one hour more? Wow. <laughs> What's yeah, up, we'll teacher? Good, right. We'll be good. <laughs> You look excited when you do two hours. Um, well, probably we would, well, some people, right? The ones that use their cell phones and use it their, their plans, yeah. probably it would be a problem for them, right? No, yeah. if you, if we will have two hours, right, will be really good because yeah. we might have a lot of time to go ahead and just uh, be talking, right? Like these activities, right? That the main aim that is that you talk. Si tuviéramos dos horas, fuera mucho que mejor, verdad? Pudiéramos 
este, así eh, tener más actividades en las que ustedes pudieran conversar, ¿verdad? Que sería, que es el, lo, lo principal, ¿verdad? De que ustedes puedan conversar. Yeah. To, pra, eh, to practice. Yes, we need, practice. We need practice. It's necessary. It's necessary, yeah. yes. Uh, that's why uh, I do try to, to have you in groups, right? At the most as the much as is possible, but I know that I need to complete just like a kind of program in the one that is important that you can talk in as well. Just basically have this, right? This type of things. Yes. Yeah. But we don't have enough time for the class. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that one was good. <laughs> It, it's a good recommendation. It's a good recommendation, right? That we may ask to, yes. to the administrator. Uh, money, uh, uh, extra money for you. Extra money for me, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it will be nice too, right? Just having some extra money. <laughs> well, sometimes- Teacher, what is, what is the difference fewer and less? Fewer and less. Um, well, in meaning, they don't have a difference. En significado no tienen diferencia porque uh, whenever you do the translation or you try to do it in Spanish, they mean the same, most likely. Just with the difference that fewer is uh, pocos y less eh, lo podrían tomar como menos. But, ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But the main difference is in the use. You have a uh, few where for things that you can count and less for things that you cannot count. So basically in meaning, they don't differ too much, right? They don't have a different, uh, a real different that we can say, but in the use, they have their different one for count and the other one for non-count. Okay, okay, yes. thank you. You're welcome. Is there any other question? No? No, for the moment, no. Okay. Okay. Ah, who's talking? Okay, Anna. Hey. All right. Anna, number, number seven. Continue number then. Seven. Good job. Uh, oh. oh, okay. Has... <laughs> <laughs> we need more. More time. <laughs> time? Oh, yeah. More time. <laughs> there is not enough time. <laughs> okay. We don't have enough time. <laughs> don't no. have it, did it? Yes. Okay. We need more time. And time. So I think there is a. Uh, a feeling from the whole community, right? That you don't have enough time to practice or to make friends, right? There is not enough time. Yes, teacher. Yeah, but the good thing is that you do practice, right? And I'm not, uh, I don't feel bad to take a long time to have you in groups because every time that I'm getting in every group, I hear you that you are talking, that you are practicing. So that is something that I'm I'm glad, right? To, to know that you, you hear are us. Thinking. Yes, hear I, us. Do. I do, <laughs> yes, I do. We not talk, we no talk but the question the okay, other things and eh, um, you are getting oh, yeah. to know each other getting yeah. to know each other yes but the important thing is that you are talking right even though yeah. probably you're not using exactly what i'm giving to you but if you are using the structures right. and if you are applying what you already know it's good right this is just an opportunity for you to talk right to each other yes and it's good i don't have any yes. problem with that yeah so continue doing it i'm about to close the rooms because we need to continue with the topics that we have so continue doing what you're doing good job guys. okay thank you That's you're welcome
we are bad, right? Well, some of some of us, not all of us. So we are gonna continue once we everyone will be here. And I'm gonna place my camera and as well the presentation. How was the practice? How was the practice? Did you enjoy it? Did you have some time to make friends, to get into know each other? Yes? Yes. Yes, that's wonderful. So I'm glad, right? And thank you because um, in every group that I've been to, I've been listening to you that you are practicing your knowledge and that's really wonderful. I'm really, really giving you the thanks that you are taking the time for what it is, right, to practice. And that's really good. So let me give you here the public thanks, right, to every one of you, because you are doing it really nice. Thank you for that. We are gonna study um, as well in the session number three, we have something that is called indirect questions, right? These are just uh, different type of questions. They are always questions, but they are kind of applied questions, right? That we are asking to. I'm gonna share my audio too with you because uh, this one, it is a conversation. Please listen to the conversation between Eric and the clerk. So I'm gonna play that and let me know if you're able to hear Exercise it. Exercise eight, conversation. Could you tell me? Can you hear it? Pueden escucharlo? Yes. Yes, yes, So Yes, teacher. Clear and strong. That's wonderful. So thank you very much for letting me know that. So let's listen to them, right? Uh, take uh, listen carefully, take notes if you have any doubt on the pronunciation or any new word that you might have, right? So part A, listen and practice. <laughs> Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restrooms are? Right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Do you want to listen at once again? Les gustaría escucharla. Yes, please. Once again, all right, so let's play it. Yes. Page 11, yes, exercise okay. 8, conversation. Could you tell me part A, listen and practice? Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restrooms are? Right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. All right. So thank you very much for being listening to the conversation. Is there any question that you might have regarding to the pronunciation vocabulary on it? And vocabulary teacher, um, a question. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, there's one with styles. What is your style? Which one, here on Eric or Claire? Claire, there's one upstairs. 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 Um, upstairs. Upstairs. It's uh, oh. when you go, right? You have uh, the house, one stage, and there is another stage, and you go it's upstairs. Right? It's similar to floor, one floor. One floor, floor yes. Two floors. Two floors, three oh. floors, and you go to the stairs, right? You go up oh, arriba. Exactly. Las escaleras hacia arriba, right? Son las escaleras hacia arriba. And downstairs es escaleras hacia abajo. Yes. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Company. Thank you as well. Any other one that you might have? 
No. Sorry, think it. Teacher, cats. I yes. Can cats. I can cats. Cats. You are cutting in and out, Milton. You are cutting in and out. Se le está cortando. No le escucho muy bien. Once again, can you ask me the question or can you ask those questions once again, please? Because you are cutting in and the, out. The, now? It's okay or now? Just a little bit, to be honest with you. Para hacerle en este suelo un poquito, es que no sé, se le escucha como que se le está cortando. No sé si es su headset o es su, su conexión. Como robotizado. Si gusta, ajá, está robotizado. Si gusta, este, intente desconectar los, los headsets, si tiene headset, eh, los audífonos, o si, está, pues, si es la conexión, trate de entrar y salir nuevamente, ¿verdad? Vamos a esperar no, por la pregunta no. de Milton. Um, ¿Alguien más que tenga una pregunta? Okay. There's someone else. Is there someone else? Regálenme un segundito. ¿Hay alguien más? Okay. ¿Nadie más? ¿Todo bien? Perdón, me estaba acomodando. Lo siento. It's um, okay. Thank you. So, there's someone else? I have a question. Is I'm sorry, but I know I know it says your name. My name. Sorry. Yeah, oh. sorry. <laughs> because okay. I knew I knew and I don't know you. Oh, I see. Don't worry, Blanquita. Um, I am Martha. My name is Martha. Martha. Okay, Martha. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet and you. And I like to say me uh, Blanquita. Blanquita. Yes. All right. <laughs> Yeah, all right. So, like a little Thank one. You. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, okay. Yes. No, I'm. I'm tend to say to everyone just the little names, right? Like Mikey in the case of Miguel, right? Um, just uh, like you, Blanquita, or someone else, right? London, so on. So I'm. I'm like that. Right? Yeah. Me I'm too. Affectionate. Yes. So no problem. So I will call you Blanquita for now. On. Thank you. Nice yeah, to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. So let's see someone else. Nadie más. Everything is fine up to this moment. We are good. We are fine. We are good. All right. So if we are good, if everything is fine at the moment, so this is just to introduce you or that you can know a little bit about the indirect questions. The indirect questions that we have here in this specific dialogue, it is, for example, could you tell me, right? That is one of the indirect questions, the very first one, could you tell me, mm. right? Then I have, for example, do you know? Do you know, right? This one, the second one in Eric, there is another indirect question and as well once again can you tell me right can you tell me once again do you know so the indirect questions they are composed by an introductory or an introduction phrase plus the question and you are gonna have like a kind of a really polite questions what are the type of introduction phrase that you can use, right? There are some phrases that you can use to give the introduction to these questions. There is one that is um, would, right? Would you, would you mind, right? For example, there is one, then we have is there, some hands, right? And then we have, are you able to, do you know the one that we just have a study 
in the conversation, mm -hmm. did you know? And then I was hopping, right? We have, I was hopping, then I was a wandering. I was wondering, for example, do you think we have this one? Do you think would it be possible? Will it be possible or could you tell me? You tell me, right? So what is that we have here? We are going to have for the indirect questions, right? We are going to have the introduction <laughs> phrase, right? We are going to have an introduction phrase or a phrase that is going to introduce, right? Our question plus the question by itself. And this one is gonna make, right, or is gonna give us a polite question, basically, right? A polite question. So here is what do we have, right? Or basically, these ones are the ones that we are going to be using. Let me, let me give it another color because I have it in light blue everything. Purple and in the red questions. In the red questions. So here is what we have, right? We are going to have a phrase that is going to introduce or give the introduction to the question, uh -huh. then we are going to have the question itself and the join of both of them, it's gonna make up or like questions, right? The phrases or the possible phrases that you can use are these ones, the ones that are in light blue. After this one, you can do your question, right? For example, <laughs> would you mind if I change the color, for example, right? Would you mind if I change the color, right? So this one, it, it will be my question. But Is the color, there... the color what, why, uh, what? The color, the car, the color, the what? Is, is the object? No. No, um, in this case, it's just example, right? It's just a sample, Blanquita, um, and anything, right? Anything. Let's right. pretend that we are talking about something, right? In a specific, like a, like a car, the like you said. Okay. Mm -hmm. like Depends the car. on the context. Depend on the context, exactly. Yes, so here is just example, right? For example, um, you can ask to the person, you're talking about cars, right? You wanted a specific model, but there is just um, there are different colors, red, blue, green, okay. for example. So I can ask you, would you mind if I change the color? We can keep the same model, but the color is not the one that I have. Mm -hmm. So there is another one that if there is some chance, this chance, right, is talking about possibility, right? Is there some change, chance, I'm sorry, that we can go to the beach, for example, right? Is there some change that we can go to the beach, right? So the possibility, right, that we can go to the beach. Or for example, are you able to help me to unblock Unplug the power cord, for example. The power cord, right? Are you able to help me to unplug the power cord, right? So this one is another one. Power cord of anything, right? For example, the power cord of the computer, the power cord from your TV, from your, um, from, what does from that the mean? refrigerator. Unplug. 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 
Unplug. Yes, uh, the unplug is this action, right? Uh, for example, my cell phone, the wire, here is plug, right? Here is plug. And unplug is this, right? So unplug is this from the electricity. Yes. Yes, someone was asking something. Yes, alguien me habló. Teacher, yes. Is the uh, the song the song the the TV is inter interfere your class? Okay, uh, there is a sound from a TV that say. So this is what I'm gonna do. So if there is any sound from the TV, to be honest, probably I'm just getting just uh you know right so i'm gonna mute everyone i'm gonna put mute on every one of you so if you want to say something just unmute yourself okay so let's go ahead and do that um for example this one right um do you know for example do you know where is the parking lot for example right do you know where is the parking lot yeah, do you know where is the parking lot? So here I'm asking the question to the person, right? I was hopping, for example, that What you, does it mean hopping? Hopping. Hopping is when you are expecting something, waiting for something, that you have okay. that feeling, right? That the person can do something for you. It's la esperanza. But the esperanza de, de, de the, hope. the hope. hope, yes, hope. I was hoping that you can help me to leave us to what to take care of my dad, for example. Right? Some people they have, uh, they ask that they you can take care of their their pets right some others they say can you take care of my pet for a couple of days right so that one i was wondering for example um if you can travel tomorrow if you can travel tomorrow right i was wondering if you can travel tomorrow right si podrías viajar mañana um, there is another one that wondering, says... Uh, wondering is the weather? Wondering? No, uh, that one it will be the weathering. 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 It's this wondering. 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 Yes. Uh, this one, wondering, is like thinking, right? Thinking in guessing, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, for example, then uh, we have that, uh, do you think, right? That she can finish the, the, what, the document, for example. Do you think that she can finish the document? Yeah, yes or no, right? That she can finish the document. Then we had, would it be possible, right? Would it be possible to have an extra hour for the class, right? For us, right? In our case, I would want to have an extra hour. And the last one, right? Could you tell me how long does the appointment The appointment, oh my gosh, the appointment will take, for example. Can you tell me or could you tell me how long does the appointment will take? And those ones, right, are just the introductory or the introduction phrases that you can use. And then we are going to have the question, like we said, right? I'm going to place it here in the green color are you able to all right so these ones they are like normal questions right basically just the only difference is that they have this specific phrase 
in the front and they make the question like um, having a different sense, right? Or when they are asking, being too, it sounds like a kind of really polite, right? It's really polite when someone is asking you in this way. So you can use it with person that you don't know, or if you are treating with your boss or with someone else, right? That you are not friends in reality. So is there any question regarding to the indirect questions? Why, uh, I have a question. Why in the question, um, and are you able to help me? And the, I was lost. <laughs> ah, could you tell me? And in blue, include tell me. And, and don't include in blue. And the third question, are you able to help me? Okay. Why? Why don't include help me in the section in blue, for example? Oh, I know. in the section in blue, in the number yes. three. Yes. Okay. Because this one is just only the introductory phrase, right? Phrase. Basically, okay. after the two, you can use any verb that you would like to. Are you okay. able to arrive on time, for example? Are you able to arrive on time? Are you able to do this or, or this, right? Um, are you able to finish the, the project, for example, and uh, so on? Okay. Yes. Okay. So after that one, you can have any bird that you would like to. Okay. And the last question, and could you tell me is, could you uh, include tell me in the, in the introduction phrase? Yes, in that one, uh, this one and the everything that is in the light blue color, right? Could you tell me that one? The whole that one is the introductory phrase, right? Or the introduction phrase that you are going to be using on. So basically, this is could you tell me? After the tell me, you can have a WH question or a different thing that you would like to know, right? This is basically for something that you would like to know. It's going to depend on what are you asking for, which introductory phrase you are going to be using. So this one is going to be depending on is if you are requesting like a kind of information, you can ask, could you tell me where is the bus stop, for example, or where is the bank? like in the city, right? Could you tell me where is the bank, for example? So it's going to depend on what exactly you are asking for. After okay. this one, in the third one, you need to have a verb, right? And for example, after this one's right? It is the, the, the tell yeah. is the verb, tell me. Tell me, yes, tell is the verb. And mm -hmm. me, it's uh, to my person, right? And yes. after that one, I need to have a WH question because yep. I'm asking for information. Yes. It's basically Thank you. That. You are welcome. So um, as you said, right, we need more time. We need at least two hours, right, to finish with all of the questions. Um, I don't know if you have any other question. If you have any other question, I will ask it to you if you want to. I can answer it on the WhatsApp group or I can answer it on Monday because it's already nine o'clock. So you tell me before that we go. Okay, teacher. All right. So if there are no questions, right? Si no hay preguntas, pues ha sido un placer estar con ustedes esta primera semana. Eh, para, la, para la segunda semana, verdad, que va a ser la siguiente, vamos a estar de nueva cuenta en el mismo horario de 8 a 9, con la única diferencia que empezamos lunes, paramos jueves y el viernes a ustedes les queda libre, ¿verdad? El fin de semana largo y así va a ser durante las próximas tres semanas, ¿verdad? Que nos restan. Eh, la Bien. semana, recuerden que la semana última, que es la cuarta semana, el miércoles 15, nosotros tenemos libre porque es el holiday. Así que nos vamos a ver después del miércoles 15, el jueves, y el lunes 20, que va a ser la última semana, ¿verdad? Así que cualquier cosa, en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí estoy disponible.
trabajen en su plataforma virtual y pues que descansen, buenas noches, vayan a cenar si no han cenado y que tengan un bonito día mañana si trabajan, ¿verdad? Así que cuídense mucho. Thank you, teacher. Buenos días. Bye, bye. Welcome. Bye, bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Bye.